Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you how to clean a uh, crank sensor. I'll be doing this on my Nissan Maximo 2011. I'm about to do an oil change, so I figured I might as well check and see if it's clean. So on the Nissan Maximo 7 Gen, the crank sensor is located right here in front of the wide pipe. So you see right there. So that's a 10 mil bolt. So I'll be using a 3 8 ratchet with a 10 mil. All right, so you got enough access to put a ratchet through here. So we'll break it loose. Take this off and make it a little bit quicker. And to clean it, you want to use 90% isopro rub alcohol, or you can use any electrical cleaner. Um, I don't have any more 90% isopro alcohol, so I'll be using mass airflow sensor cleaner. All right, so just pull it out. As you can see, it's kind of dirty, not too bad. So I want to clean that off and then put that in. When this um, gets dirty over time, you want to make sure this is kind of part of maintenance too, um, to make sure that's clean because any debris that gets on that sensor could affect the reading where the position the crank is. So clean this off. Like I said, I'm using mass airflow sensor cleaner. I didn't want that to drop on the camera. All right, and then I'm gonna get a towel. I'm gonna wipe that clean. I still got a little bit more. All right, once we got that clean, put it back into its hole, line up the bolt hole, and then let's put the 10 mil back in. And this, oops, this is um, one of those things on your car that pretty much kind of gets forgotten. So, like I said, the full list of descriptions of what happens if that gets dirty, all the issues you could experience, um, symptoms you could also experience, and everything else. So I'm just hand tightening it. This is a lot quicker than using the ratchet because when tightening it, you will be hitting this mo front motor mount on this Nissan Maxima. All right. Now I just gotta make it nice and snug. All right, that's tight. So that's how you do this maintenance. So if your crank sensor on the subject needs to maximize any other vehicle, wherever your crank sensor is located, that's where you take it out and wherever size you gotta take out as well. So that's it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to doing this whole change.